Gets a, gets a lot of flack. A lot of people just don't understand. Valley. There's a tree with a hanging rope. And on a bank you lay your money and not a rope. This is God. This is about the outdoors. Hunting, fishing, trapping. This episode brought to you by Jasco Products. Makers of the Eco Survivor Lantern. Stand up to the elements. Friend knife making. Quality knives made in America. Beanville Outdoors. Home of Deep South Trapping Lures and Old South Deer Lures. The All-American Sun Oven, the ultimate solar appliance. Red Feather Archery, home of the Talon. Nice targets, a superior shooting experience. Hello, and welcome to Wild for the Outdoors TV. I'm your host, T-Mac, and what is Wild for the Outdoors TV? Well, it's just plain old country, hillbilly living just like we've been doing it for hundreds of years. Getting out, shooting some wildlife, putting it on the table, in the freezer, and having a good time, and praising God while you do it. No guides, no ranches, just you and the outdoors. It may be 40 acres, it may be 80 acres, it may be 10,000 acres, public land, private land, it doesn't matter. Just getting out, having fun, and doing what we were put here to do. Whitetail deer hunting, turkey hunting, trapping, cooking, all kinds of stuff. So stick around. I know you're gonna enjoy it. Sit here. See what else happens. I got two buck tags.
All right, here's where he was standing when I shot him. You can see the blood through there. There's the tree I was in. Right up there. Go down here. I can almost see the deer from here. Matter of fact, if I, he's right there. I can see him. He didn't go 50 yards. That's the second deer I've shot with them red feather archery razor hawks. And they just don't go far. They just don't go far. Here's my arrow right here. All the way. This is kind of gorilla style shooting. But look at that, all the way through. The Eco Survivor Lantern stand up to the elements. Utilizing patented technology, the Eco Survivor Lantern delivers a consistent white light with unprecedented energy efficiency. This Lantern series provides an omnidirectional battery operated solution that omits a brilliant white 350 lumen light with a range of up to 50 feet. Three level dimming feature, durable locking carabiner handle, providing versatility allowing it to be carried or hung anywhere. The Eco Survivor Lantern's tough, rugged exterior and design makes it perfect for any outdoor adventure. Utilizing the ever popular Realtree design in pink, orange, and green, the Eco Survivor Lantern suits your personality. Are you tired of changing out targets all the time? Then I'd like to introduce you to Nice Targets, a superior shooting experience, recyclable, long lasting, weather, and UV resistant. 100% more shots equals half the cost. Nice targets. High resolution, photorealistic. Nice targets are quality, cost efficient targets made in America. And plus, just look how good they look. I'd hang this stuff up in my wall. It's like having art in the room. They also make traditional style range targets for all your other shooting needs. The next time you have to choose between paper and plastic, Go with the plastic. Red Feather Archery presents the Talon. This devastating small game head is machined from a solid piece of steel, combining the blunt force trauma of a traditional blunt with the cutting edges of a three blade broadhead. Scalp tip helps reduce snaking for a better arrow retrieval with field point like accuracy. Red Feather Archery. The Talon. Nothing wrong with that broadhead, nothing wrong with that arrow. Just zip straight through him. That's what you want to see, that white belly shining. Wow, what a good buck. Look at that butter ball. Look at that shot. I'm gonna go get my stuff. I'm gonna get him out of here. A lot of blood right there. Ugh. 
the old recurve done it again. Nice little eight pointer. Got double kickers off the back, but they're not big enough to count. But hey, I'll take him. Opening day, Oklahoma. Beautiful morning. <laughs> Mr. Big came in way too early. I was messing around with my camera stuff, and needless to say, he's still out there. But this buck and another little buck come in, and I don't know if I got it on film or not, because like I said, my camera's broke, and I can't really tell, you know, what I'm filming because the viewfinder's busted. But I hope I got it. Yeah, shot was quarter and two, just a hair. Went in right there. And I tell you what, that razor hawk went plumb through him, complete pass through with the recurve. That's pretty good. That was a good shot. Man, right through him like butter. I know I got this long. Now the work starts. i to get the sucker out of here. I thank you all for joining me. I hope your opening day is as good as mine. Thank you, God. Backstraps, baby. Wasn't that an exciting hunt? Man, I'll tell you what, I had a great time that morning. And, uh, Oh, everything worked out. You know, there were several levels of success going on right there. Uh, I got real close to a big buck that morning. It was just, I was messing with my camera. And they all, them bucks, them big ones especially, they always know when you're not ready. So, he kind of spooked off, got behind me, went to blowing. And it was so early, I couldn't have filmed it anyway. And it was just like, oh, man, everything went wrong. And he got away. Oh, well, you know. I'm not the guy that has to kill the big buck every year, okay? I've killed some good bucks, and I've killed a lot of little bitty bucks, and it doesn't bother me a bit. I ain't apologizing. It's my hunt. I'll hunt how I want to hunt. You know, I don't let anyone dictate how I hunt. As long as that deer is legal, I'll shoot it if I want to shoot it. And, you know, now I've only got one buck tag left. Probably won't see another little one hit the ground, but... That's how I hunt. I hunt to get meat in the freezer. Got meat in the freezer, now I can hunt for other reasons. Does, big bug. That's all I'm looking for now. But you hunt how you want to hunt. Don't hunt how other people want you to hunt. You hunt how you want to hunt. Don't let anybody dictate how you hunt. That's very important, and I hope you all take that to heart, because I'm here for those of you who hunt like that who want to hunt like that, who just want to enjoy it, who want, you want to eat it, you know, you want to eat the meat, you want to enjoy the hunt, you know, you're not out there for this guy and that guy, and you're out there for yourself, okay, and that's the guy I want to represent, and I hope I did, I hope you enjoyed this hunt, I'm getting out there again tonight, massive cold fronts blowing in, get out there and get you some. Autism awareness isn't just about the statistics. It's about the facts, the people involved, and the struggles they go through daily. The All-American Sun Oven, the ultimate solar appliance. At only 22 pounds, this quality American-made product is perfect for camping, hunting, or an emergency situation. The ability to bake, boil, steam, and dehydrate with just the power of the sun. Friend knife making, quality knives made right here in the good old U.S. of A. Hand forged custom knives, hawks, and leather working. You can visit their website at www.friendknifemaking.com. <laughs> Hammer Time Custom Calls by Joey Dobbs. If you all know me, you know I use Joey Dobbs Hammer Time Custom Calls. Joey, he makes these all handmade and custom to order. He has a lot of different woods you can choose from and stuff. So check him out on Facebook or email him at joeydop at gmail.com. You want to get closer to game? You better have your game face on.
Are you ready to take your trapping and hunting to the next level? Visit BineVilleOutdoors.com, home of Deep South Trapping Lures, Old South Deer Lures. They also have traps, snares, trap supplies, fur handling gear, books, DVDs, clothing, and a wealth of knowledge for any outdoorsman. Bineville Outdoors. Check them out today at www.bindvilleoutdoors.com. Oh, welcome to the kitchen again. Got the crock pot out. I've already got a cup of water in there. It's been warming up for about an hour. Uh, I'm going to do some deer ribs today. They don't have a lot of meat, but they make pretty good sandwich fodder when you get them all broke down and all that meat just melts off of them. I'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil on them because I'm going to make a sauce for this. I'm going to do a little sea salt on them. This is about something we found. I don't know. It's called Nature's Seasoning. Season Blend. No MSGs. Morton's has it. Really awesome. Awesome smell and good flavor. So. We're gonna hit that right on there, right on top of that. Just a little. Oh, I got metal shavings in my bell peppers now. We're gonna do these just straight up the stir fry style. We're gonna let that go, do its thing, and uh, here in a few hours, eh, probably a couple hours, we'll let that cook just a little bit. We're gonna start the secret sauce, man. All right, the sauce. This is like a Heinz 57 sauce. It's crazy. I'm gonna do ketchup. That's gonna be our main base right here. I'm going to use quite a bit of it too. I've got about oh, a cup of ketchup in there, a cup and a half. We're going to do about a half a cup of mustard. Hey, you might like more mustard. That's fine. Let's fire this sucker up. Low. We're going to be on low. Just barely getting in there. We're gonna do some just a random steak sauce. This is gonna give you a whew, like a zing, buddy. I'm telling you. Don't have to be nothing expensive either. Just this is just cheap old steak sauce. We're gonna put about a half a cup in there. We might go more later. It's up to you, man. You gotta keep tasting this stuff. That's gonna give us our look at that dark color coming back. Alright, so a little Worcestershire sauce. Probably use what's left. That might be a little much, but that's all I got left. So. Okay, measurement. That's probably a tablespoon. A little bit of liquid smoke. Fourth of a teaspoon. We're just gonna smoke it up just a little bit. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. We don't want to thin this out too much because there's lots of juice inside there, inside the uh, crock pot. Hot sauce it. About a tablespoon. Give that a little fire kick. Then we're 
kind of sweeten it up a little bit with a little brown sugar. About half a cup. You might like sweeter. You might like hotter. Man, this is just play around with this. Don't go by my taste buds. Go by your own. All right, now this sauce, this barbecue sauce, is just a little zippy. Like I'm talking pucker you up, but it's gonna go good with all that liquid we got in the bottom. I'm just gonna drizzle that on there. Well, they're not quite ready yet, but they're getting there. I just thought I'd go ahead and take a bite, me a piece of this rib meat right here. We'll see how this tastes. I'm still going to cook these probably for the rest of the night, just till the bones just fall out of them. But for the sake of finishing this video, I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Mmm. Whew. That's good. I've had ribs on just over the fire, and I've done ribs like this. You just can't beat this. And look at all that juice. Man. Whew. That's some good stuff. I'm just going to keep cooking it, cooking it down, cooking it down, cooking it down. On this product spotlight, we're going to be talking about nice targets. All right, you've been hearing me talk about these things a lot because I tell you, they are awesome. If you're like me and you want something realistic to shoot at to get you going before season gets here, you can't much beat these targets. Look at them. Photorealistic, high definition, made in the good old US of A, recyclable. They are absolutely fun to shoot. And they're not they're weather resistant, so you're not gonna have to worry about rain getting on them and change them every time the rain comes or snow or whatever. Uh, they are UV resistant and you can't beat these poses. I love this. They give you realistic looking shots to go for. Uh, of course, this buck here, you got a tree there. You know, you don't, don't want to hit it. The vitals are just about, I mean, spot on, right where you want them. And, you know, it, this little line here disappears the further you get back. So you don't see that. So all you're doing is picking a spot, which is what you want to do when you're practicing. You want to pick a spot whatever it may be a tuft of hair you know this this dark spot you want to focus on that aim small miss small these targets help you do that uh, this buck here standing look kind of weird but you know it's giving you telling you this is the shot standing right at your pose I mean I love this when I'm rifle hunting I'll shoot them right there no problem usually puts them on their hind end pretty quick mm -hmm. so uh, I cannot say enough about nice targets. Mm -hmm. They are absolutely 100% my favorite targets to shoot. Inexpensive. You're not going to pay a bunch for them. And they're going to last twice as long as the paper targets. I mean, you're saving money hand over fist when you're buying these things. Nice targets. The greatest target out there, in my opinion. So, please, do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Go check them out www.nicetargets.com they also have a cool little game you can play on their website you know you can shoot the targets you know it's pretty cool but uh, and you know they, they've got more than this they've got the rabbit the turkey I love to shoot that turkey getting ready for turkey season and that little rabbit man I get the old blow dart gun out and practice on it uh, the, the hog, they got a big old ugly hog target. Man, it's pretty accurate too. They've got the three dot targets in the classic archery. They got the big classic archery target. Of course, then they got your blues. The big blue target and the three dot blue target. Anything you want, they've got it. Go check them out. Tell them I sent you. Do yourself a favor. Save some money. Get you some nice targets. I guarantee you, you won't regret it. Well, I'd like to thank you all for joining me on this episode. Opening day, there's nothing like it. It's like, it should be a, a holiday. I think I think most of you will agree with that. But, shot a pretty good buck, opening day. And then, of course, deer ribs. 
I have a new respect for deer ribs now. Try that recipe. I know you'll enjoy it. And, you know, once again, thanks for watching. Next week, we're going to go on my daughter's first ever deer hunt. So don't well, be sure and check that out. And we're also going to be cooking some deer chili. The best. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to stick around. Check out our sponsors. Go check them out. Tell them we sent you. You know, they are some fine, fine people. Love y'all. God bless. And I'll see you next time. more videos go to our YouTube channel Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com and don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends and hey remember it's your God-given duty to manage this land.